but you have to start thinking like a turkey and realize what they're going to do next and also sort of learn their language. I mean, turkeys are always talking. They have a tremendous language of their own and many, many different vocalizations that mean different things. So that's part of the reason why Ben Franklin didn't want the eagle. He thought the wild turkey was a far more majestic, honorable animal. People think turkeys as being stupid and you know, drowned in the rain, all this stuff, which isn't true. That all got base where people went out and bought baby turkeys and brought them home and didn't properly house them and it rained and they all drowned. But my response to that is take a human baby and put it out in a rainstorm and see how long it, it survives. It'll put its head up and drown. Um, you know, that had more to do with just really bad care. Now, the other side of it is that the modern industrial turkey that everybody buys at Thanksgiving is a lot stupider. But that's because man, when they've decided to take the turkey off the land and house them in buildings, actually began to select for stupidity. Because if you have an animal that you don't want it to do anything, you want just to eat and stand there and gain weight, you don't want it to have any intelligence. <laughs> they like to be where the action is. <laughs>